So hello, uh, I'm here to talk to you about the local experience, the example being mini Kubeflow, but there's, there's these patterns that keep coming up, uh, you know, in all the previous talks, which is one, onboarding people on Kubeflow is kind of difficult right now. Maybe you agree, right? And we need to have a way to have people try it out as easily as possible because this is what gets them hooked up. And then we've got more developers in the community and we've got more users and we've got more uh, people both developing code and try, uh, contributing real world use cases. Okay. The other use pattern is uh, on-prem. On-prem is very important. The survey showed that people want to run Kubeflow on-prem. How do we do that? And then there's two more points that I'll make after that. But what's about the local experience? The too long, didn't read version of it is we have launched mini Kubeflow. You can download it right now. It's packaged Kubeflow 0.4 with some minor modifications to make everything work. You need to run two commands and you should have a working virtualized deployment of Kubeflow within 10 minutes. So essentially, you spin it up, you type your two commands, you give it some time, it provisions a few things, we've written a nice script there, and that's it. Underneath, it uses kfcuttle and kubeflow components. Okay, so why is this important? Because as Debo said, and other uh, speakers have also said, we need the same experience on-prem, on my laptop, and on the cloud. Kubeflow components, use Kubernetes and Kubernetes provides the same APIs everywhere. So how, we can, how can we get the same unified experience? I want to run my notebooks on Kubeflow, use my Kubeflow curated images for these notebooks, use fairing to spawn my TF jobs, use TF jobs for training, use CATIP for hyperparameter tuning, use pipelines to orchestrate everything on-prem, and then I can move everything to the cloud. That's the kind of thing we want to enable. And our contribution to Kubeflow, so there's two CUJs at least that are, that are related to this. One is the on-prem CUJ that Debo talked about. The other is the multi-user CUJ. So there seems to be a real big need for integrating enterprise-grade authentication with Kubeflow for the on-prem use case. So we, we definitely want to work on the on-prem CUJ, and we are uh, willing to lead this with uh, uh, the Cisco team, and we want to make sure that the multi-user CUJ works on-prem. It will work on uh, GCP, it should work with a local LDAP server, and we should provide a reference implementation for this and document this and make sure it works seamlessly. So this is our effort with Mini Kubeflow. It's give something that's packaged that people can use right now. Please download it and use it and give us feedback. We have a Slack channel for this, hash Mini KF. And then we want to make sure that the reference implementation of the multi-user CUJ, for example, works on this. And then we want to make sure that all the components have the exact same user experience on-prem. And then to make everything work end-to-end, -end, our uh, core interest is data management. So the end-to-end -end story is, and that's what we're trying to contribute code to. How do I start? How do I orchestrate everything using notebooks? And then where's my data? These are the two ends, the uh, closest to the user and the uh, furthest away from the user. Okay, so what we'd like to uh, see Kubeflow components use more and more is uh, use persistent volumes on Kubernetes in a vendor agnostic way. So you can run Kubeflow on-prem and use your existing storage uh, infrastructure. So you can run pipelines and pass gigabytes of data from step to step seamlessly. So you can orchestrate volumes and snapshots on external infrastructure. And this is the code we have been providing. We have contributing code for the uh, spawner component for notebooks, both in 0 0.5 and uh, 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 rewritten from scratch. That is Kubernetes native, that works with what Abby and Cam described in the previous Lightning talk, uh, that uses uh, profiles for multi-user support. And we have contributing code for pipelines to work with local storage infrastructure. So this is our main effort. Get Kubeflow to work seamlessly, as easy and as fast as possible on-prem, 
and then get the same user experience, both on-prem and on the cloud. This is more or less it. If we use persistent volumes as Kubernetes objects, using CSI as the standard way to orchestrate storage on Kubernetes, then things would work the same, both on-prem and on the cloud. This is more or less it of uh, what I've got. I hope I am in time. Am I? I'm not sure. I wasn't paying attention. You're very, very but on time. Please download this. Please uh, join the Slack channel. Please tell us what works and what doesn't. There was a great comment on the Slack channel that said, most of the examples kind of are GCP oriented right now. Yes, that's a good comment to make. And it's a stated goal of the project that the examples shouldn't be GCP specific. So this is a good trigger to uh, notice what we should contribute more documentation, but we should modify so it works both on-prem and on GCP and on any other cloud provider. Thank you.